Oh my god, I won't be able to pronounce this name. <laughs> I am a fan of polka dots too. We should be friends. <laughs> Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, I hope you are having a great day and today we are going to talk about royalty fashion. Yeah, you heard it, royalty fashion, the best fashion ever. <laughs> how to be classy, how to be elegant, they know that and what makes their style so iconic. But first make sure you subscribe down below and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram which is Lisa Hart Style. So we're going to start with the royal family that is the most famous in the world which is the British royal family and we're going to talk about the main princess which is Kate Middleton she is so classy she's really an inspiration for fashion and I really love her style most of the time she's wearing dresses and you can see that her dresses are kind of simple very modest and very put together very very fitted it like it fits her body perfectly and that's the first thing if you want to be classy make sure your outfit fits you perfectly to your body and make sure that it's not too tight or too large because mm, it's not gonna work so she is always always having those beautiful dresses and beautiful coats I love her coats because in England it's it's you need some coats you need some coats look at this look at this white and red coat this is stunning it just give you this lady lady vibe you know she she has a very lady like vibe she's always put together her posture is perfect everything she, she never has something wrong and also when she is more casual and laid back she doesn't hesitate to be more casual and laid back if you want to be a lady if you want to be classy you have to adapt yourself to different environment and not always be fancy you know not always being over the top with your outfit for example when she goes see some children from charity and all that stuff she doesn't hesitate to put down her outfit because if you were going to those kind of event with Louboutin heels and your Chanel bag and everything that's not very appropriate those people are very poor and that's not that's not selling the the best message to just show off your wealth so Mm, not really good not really good so I think there's a time and a place for your fancy and nice outfit and there's a time and a place to be laid back and just less put together just still classy you can still be classy even in jeans you can still be classy she is wearing jeans because for finding the right jeans mm, you have to try a lot of jeans before finding the right one I assure you, this is hard. Also, she's always wearing tights. I think it's a rule in royalty, in British royalty, that you have to wear tights whatever. They're wearing even tights that are the color of the skin, you know? Because I think that's a rule that the queen has made. So make sure if I'm saying something wrong, okay? I don't know a lot of things about the rules of royalty if you're from England and you know more. So make sure you tell me in the comments because mm, I don't know everything, okay? I'm just I'm just commenting their fashion. I love 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 love. I love this coat, this green coat, and she doesn't hesitate to wear colors, which I love. Also the queen is also famous for wearing a lot of colors. Just love that. And it reminds me of Blair Waldorf, you know, <laughs> Gossip Girl, just love Blair Waldorf. If no one of you know Gossip Girl. It's okay, you don't need to watch at the TV show, just look at her style, it's amazing. Oh my god, I love this. This is the iconic, wow, royalty outfit, you know, when you have this beautiful coat which has really fitted her like a glove and this hat, the hat, the royalty hat that they're wearing at weddings and events and everything, so that's really nice. I have a dress that is kind of similar in my wardrobe, which I am proud of. I have a dress that is almost the same as Kate Middleton. I'm <laughs> so happy. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. It's very, very ladylike. And this other dress is also way more laid back. You know, the other one was very fancy, very put together, very strict. But this one is more laid back, uh, floaty, and summery. So I love that. I love that she's able to just be, not always be so strict about her style, that she can be flexible and wear multiple things and still be 
classy and still be appropriate because that's the point you know royalty cannot be really sexy or anything because they have to be appropriate for anything any event they have to go to tons and tons of events and they don't want to offend anyone even if you're going to a country that is more modest or religion that are more conservative and everything you don't want to offend anyone so as a royalty you can't be really sexy and glamorous like I'm telling um, those actresses that I was talking about you know my video about uh, how to be glamorous like the 50s icons if you haven't watched it yet watch it it's on my channel somewhere <laughs> because as an actress you have more flexibility because you can be sexy and everything you don't have to represent an entire country you know it's completely another word even if she has some sneakers on she is still classy because she has a great posture she has some nice hair and you know like her outfit is fitted to her you know she she's walking with confidence for being classy it's more about the behavior it's more like being gentle being kind and being educated and being gracious and everything so that's more about the behavior than the outfit i love that she's showing that she's even dressing at zara just like everyone else she's more approachable just like lady d was lady d was very approachable she was a stunning woman very very kind very lovely so lady diana was the mother of harry and william and so she was very very classy very kind everyone loved her she was a true inspiration she was very very gracious and also it was kind of the time where women were wearing shoulders and you know like nice big shoulders and everything like so she was wearing some suits some nice long dresses and also i really love how she was dressed casually in this picture for example she's stunning i love that she has a, n a nice pants with nice flats i love ballerinas told you all the time this is very classy and she seems very you know naturally classy I love that. Now let's talk about Meghan Markle because she is the new one in the family and she has a style that is very drastically different from the other one, from like the royalty in general, from the rules of the royalty, she's breaking a lot of rules. So my little dog wanted to say hi, hi Bobby, hi, hi. <laughs> yes, talking about Meghan Markle, she's very putting a lot of modern fashion she's more, way more modern like for example Kate Middleton is way more traditional and Meghan Markle I really love the fact that she is from absolutely not from England she's an actress from America I mean she climbed a high society like this like from the bottom to the top that's really impressive if she ever made a make a book about it everyone is gonna buy it <laughs> and I love her style so I think I like it less than Kate Middleton I, I don't know why I found sometimes at the beginning especially that she was not really dressing for her size I think that most of her dresses were not her size but now now she's improving now she's better and also all the hats the beautiful dresses the beautiful skirts like you can see a common theme of all the royalty you can see that they have they are wearing a lot of dresses way more than pants even though Meghan Markle is kind of of an exception she's wearing a lot of pants but when they're wearing pants it's tailored pants and when they're wearing skirts it's always skirts that are midi skirts or midi skater skirts or just never too tight on the body always tailored and put together and always made for their body to fit perfectly you can see also that the material is kind of thick it makes you believe that it's very thick material and and you know even when Kate Middleton is wearing Zara you don't even notice it because you're like she is stunning and you don't even notice that it's not a designer dress because this fits her perfectly your clothes should fit you perfectly and then have like something like at least a minimum of a good material you know and then it's gonna appear like it's designer you know like some people dress at Zara and you would think that they are dressing at Chanel or Louis Vuitton they're like whoa how <laughs> I love also all the hats I want to have a collection entire collection for the hats but 
where would I wear it? That's the question. So <laughs> I, I want to focus on accessories because this is really a big deal. More impressive, more put together, more wow with the accessories, with the right accessories. If you have a more monochrome look, I love those kind of style. I think it's the key to have your style on point. I love the fact that she's bringing some modern fashion to the royalty. For example, this dress that she has, it reminds me of like a trench coat but in a dress, which is, you never see that on Kate Middleton, you never see that. So I like that, I like that she's bringing some fresh things, some fresh air, like you don't see that often, it's, mm, it's beautiful, I like it. Now let's talk about my favorite fashion icon of the royalty in the world. On top of the game. She's just on top of the game. You can't you can't do better. So I'm talking about the Queen of Jordan, Queen Rania. She is stunning. I mean she's 49. <laughs> no way. No way. Come on. Like she's wow, she's stunning. And she has this style that I wish I had, like she has this style that we all wish we had. <laughs> I mean, she's a queen so she can't afford it, but she is, wow, like her style is always on point. I love the fact that she's mixing some Middle Eastern vibe and some Middle Eastern fashion with some modern fashion and classy, elegant fashion. Like she's always very classy, very put together. Her hair are always on point and everything, but she is uh, mixing some, you know, Middle Eastern. I love Middle Eastern fashion. This is just stunning. So for example, she's wearing those long, long dresses that are making me think of like Middle Eastern fashion because in Middle Eastern fashion, you have to be even more covered. You have to be even more covered. You have to be even more conservative than the other country. Like her dresses are just, um, I would die for it. Like, look at this. Oh my God, the detail and everything. She's wearing a lot of skirts again. All the royalty they're wearing a lot of skirts they're always snatching the waist and I think that's something that I didn't notice for Meghan Markle but it was the case for Kate Middleton and the Queen Rania also is snatching her waist every time so that's really something that I love to do and I think that's giving you this classic elegant vibe so I noticed that she's less simple than the other one and in Middle East they have a certain way of seeing fashion which I love they love gold they love sparkle they love things that are very they, they they're not shy with it which for example the British are more discreet with fashion they are more simple and so I really love that about her but you can see my bed I, I don't I don't like simplicity I like to be over the top so that's just me but I love also like her traditional outfits it's so beautiful and actually when I went to Marrakesh I even bought one do you want to see it do you want to see it? it's so beautiful so I bought this in Marrakesh it is just stunning stunning at the detail here oh my god and it was not expensive at all I think I think it was 25 euros so it's nothing I, I mean in Marrakesh it's really really cheap but it's really cheap but at the same time it's really really well made so I can be a Middle Eastern queen if I'm going to Dubai I'm going to wear that so of course I can also talk about Grace Kelly because she was a princess after all. But I talked a lot about her style on my video, how to be glamorous, like the 50s fashion icon and everything. So, ooh, she is stunning. I love, love, love everything that she's wearing. She's never, never wearing something wrong. So it's really something that you can be inspired by. But make sure you see that video because it's give you some ideas even Audrey Hepburn which I really love, even like Marilyn Monroe and everything. So another queen is Queen Leticia of Spain and I mean she has an amazing style and she is always put together, always her dresses. It helps that she's stunning and she has a beautiful body. It helps really. <laughs> I mean this dress I can, I can die. She looks like a princess, the embroidery. Uh, 
She's wearing a lot of polka dots. I can see she loves polka dots. I am a fan of polka dots too. We should be friends. <laughs> I love this. Ooh. That's why I love royalty. They love dresses. They love their dresses. They are only wearing that. I love the fact that she's wearing a lot of midi skater dress. I love those kind of dresses and I, I just want to have more and more and more. <laughs> And they're very floaty and long and gives you this queen and princess vibe. So I would say if you want to be inspired by royalty, dresses, skirts and tailored pants, it's the way to go. It's really the way to go. Also some tweeds and some nice cut. I love that they have like, it's really fitted, it's really thick material, it's really nice. This is the kind of dresses that you can see on Lipsy, on Shishi London. I love Shishi London. It reminds me of royalty. There, those kind of dresses are royalty material. It's also dresses that are for special occasion, but they're good. We have also the Princess of Thailand, which is, oh my god, oh my god, I won't be able to pronounce this name. <laughs> Princess, okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Princess, oh my god, Sirivana Varina Ratana. That's horrible, I'm sorry if I pronounce it so badly, I'm so sorry. Um, she's the princess of Thailand and she has a super stylish wardrobe like she's more modern stylish high fashion and everything the other ones are more traditional very classy very elegant but in a traditional way she's classy and elegant but in a high fashion one way modern way you know so she's wearing a lot of Dior, Chanel, and she is wearing tons of, like she's very young, so it's it's obvious that she's going to have this young style that, that is more out there, a little bit more sexy, a little bit more high fashion, a little bit more, woo, you can, you can see me, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I really love that, like I really love that she dares to do things, even though she still is royalty so she still is conservative she still is classy and put together but i really like that she dares to do things with fashion i really like that so that's it for this video i hope you really liked it and i hope it gave you some nice ideas on how to be classy like the royalty and some inspiration and everything so make sure you subscribe down below don't forget to follow me on my instagram which is lisa heart style and comment down below which royalty is your favorite which style was your favorite so take care and until next time, I'm giving you so much kisses. Mwah. Goodbye.